What's going on, everybody? Brian Power back with you on Saturday, February 17th, here to help you break down a loaded college basketball slate on Saturday. I'll be letting you know who to sell high on, who to buy low on, favorite stat of the day, how the market's moving, and I'll give you a free play at the end as well. But first, wanted to let you know I will be in the building this afternoon for Youngstown State, Cleveland State. If you've been following me for any length of time, you know what to do when I go to a game. You bet the under. If, if you've, You can check it out on Twitter. I posted a graphic at Brian Power underscore wins. I, the last 12 games I have gone to and bet the under, I'm a perfect 12-0. It is inexplicable. I don't know how to explain it. We just keep following the trend. Last time, uh, I went with Trigg to see Pitt and Duke. Pitt at home had one of the most horrific shooting performances you'll ever see. Youngstown State, Cleveland State's a big game in the Horizon League. I have bet the under. Uh, personally got that number at 153. I'll be joining Wager Talk Zone, Ralph Michaels and Jeff Michaels in attendance at that game. Again, stay tuned on Twitter for more on that at Brian Power underscore wins. But let's get to the Power 5 proper now, shall we? As always, we break open the wagertalk.com live odds screen to see how the market's moving. There's two games that caught my eye. The first is Wisconsin and Iowa, which is a 215 Eastern tip in Iowa City. Now, this could be a situation where we have an unranked home favorite against a top 25 team. The line has moved from Iowa plus one to pick them. Over the last two seasons, I know it hasn't been successful this year, but over the last two seasons, unranked home favorites have been money in the bank uh, against top 25 opponents. I would look to play Iowa if they move to favor if they move to the role of favorite. That would mean sharp money's on the Hawkeyes. Iowa got a bad break with Minnesota hitting a late three on Sunday. Wisconsin had really been struggling before beating Ohio State. They lost uh, four in a row, both straight up in ATS. I think the sharp money is on Iowa on Saturday. Sharp money also looks to be on Kansas at Oklahoma. This is a 4 p.m. Eastern start today. Uh, this is a battle of ranked teams where the road team is favored. Now, later on in our stat of the day, I'm going to have some information on how home teams have done when they're favored in ranked versus ranked matchups. But this is unique uh, with the road team favored in a battle of top 25 teams. Kansas needs this one badly. Oklahoma, they've been struggling too as well. But the odds makers are kind of tipping their hand here with Kansas opening as the favorite. And they've gone up from minus one to minus two and a half. I would look Jayhawks there. All right, let's go buy low, sell high. We'll start with the sell high spot. We're selling high on Utah State who is at Colorado State in what is the big game in the Mountain West on Saturday. Utah State first place in the Mountain West, but San Diego State's closing in. And uh, Colorado State didn't help Utah State's case because they lost at San Diego State earlier in the week. What a wild game that was. Colorado State led by 14 at the half, but they scored only 11 points over the last 20 minutes and ended up losing by 16. You don't see that very often. This is a revenge spot today for Colorado State. They lost at Utah State by five in last month. They were ranked number 13 in the country at the time. You do have to lay multiple possessions here, but I think it's the right move. Colorado State's 13-1 straight up in Fort Collins this year. Utah State playing its second straight road game at Elevation. They won at Wyoming on Wednesday, okay? But they've had one fewer day to prepare you look at what Utah State did last Saturday. They were at home off a loss. Really looks pretty similar for Colorado State here. At home, off a loss. Utah State, oh, by the way, 0-5 ATS last five times. They've been a road dog of 3.5 to 6 points. This could be a higher scoring game than expected as well. Uh, the Aggies, 9-0 and to the over in true road games this season. What team were we buying low on today? Uh, pardon me. How about UC Davis? Yes, UC Davis is kind of an off-the-radar game in the Big West. Uh, they are laying six to UC Riverside. UC Riverside just won at Cal State Fullerton on Thursday, 81-73 as a one-and-a-half-point favorite. Cal State Fullerton is a bad team, though. You know how I know that? Because they were getting points at home against UC Riverside. Prior to that game, Riverside had not won a true road game all year. They were 0-12 straight up in true roadies. Their ATS record is now 6-7. and seven. That's not nearly as poor, but it's a pretty short number here, and they've been outscored on the road by an average of 11.7 points per game, and that's what makes laying the points here with UC Davis so tempting. I don't think it's 
likely that UC Riverside's going to win back-to-back road games after losing their first 12. UC Davis, they have lost two straight coming into Saturday. They were a four-point home favorite versus Long Beach State on Thursday. They should be fully motivated. Don't want to drop two in a row at home as favorites. They're only one game back in the win column of Big West leaders UC Irvine, despite the two straight losses. Oh, by the way, back on January 4th, Davis went to Riverside and won by 20 as two-point underdogs. I don't think this line's uh, big enough. Aggie shot 60% from the field in that first meeting. Game was never close. I would buy low here on UC Davis at home. All right, here's your stat of the day. Ranked versus ranked. When the home team is favored this year, 21-10 and 10 ATS. We have two such instances today on the docket, but you've got to lay a decent number of points. UConn against Marquette and Auburn against Kentucky. Let's pull up the uh, wagertalk.com live odds screen for the latest numbers on this one up to the minute odds. And UConn is currently laying seven across the board everywhere except DraftKings where it's six and a half. You got to think Marquette's going to be a pretty public dog in this situation. My view, both teams are a little overrated. I don't think UConn's the number one team in the country. I don't think Marquette's the fourth best team in the country. I'll be laying off. Then Auburn and Kentucky, this is the second straight game where Auburn is a home favorite against another top 25 foe. We saw how they just bludgeoned South Carolina earlier in the week, and they're now eight and a half point favorites over Kentucky. I think Kentucky's going to be another public dog here. I wouldn't take Kentucky, who I don't think is a legit top 25 team, but man, it's tough to imagine Auburn playing as well as they did against South Carolina, so this would be a pass for me. Nevertheless, Again, when it's two top 25 meet teams meeting this year and the home team is favored, 21-10 and 10 ATS. Hard to argue there. This is what I've got on tap. I might be passing on both of those games, but this is what I've got on tap for Saturday. Four plays. It starts with two totals. One of them I've already given you. It's the under, okay, in the, uh, it's the under in the uh, Youngstown State-Cleveland State game, which I'm going to be at. If you want the other total, head on over to my page, wt.buzz backslash BP. Uh, we're, we plan on going 2-0 and with these totals. Uh, I also have a late 4% late night bailout for you. And my fourth play for Saturday, I'm going to give to you for free right here. It is Princeton laying three against Yale. I got a bad number here. I jumped on this right away. I'm laying four, but look, I, I don't care. I Look, we have to address what happened last night. I lost a 5% play with uh, going against Yale with Penn. It was a very disappointing result, obviously. We got everything we wanted. We got great closing line value. Uh, Noling was out for Yale. Pe- the Quakers just didn't show up, didn't do their part. I think Princeton in a massive revenge spot. They lost to Yale earlier in the year. I still think Princeton's the best team in the Ivy League. They need to win here. They fall three games back. Uh, and would be 0-2 against Yale for the year. I love Princeton today, guys. Uh, They are your power play of the day, and that does it for the Power 5 here on wagertalk.com. Do us a favor. Give this video a like if you uh, enjoyed what you heard, what you saw. Uh, If you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe to the Wager Talk YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our exclusive sports betting content. Again, one more time, you can follow me on Twitter at Brian Power underscore wins. I'll be uh, tweeting during that Youngstown State Cleveland State game. Head over to my page, wt.buzz backslash BP, for all of today's college basketball winners. Until next time, let's catch some tickets.